Hello everyone. Today I wanted to uh, share a new uh, configuration that I'm doing on the, Mac, on the Clipper configuration file for my custom 3D printer on the Manta M8P from B3Tech uh, board. So I wanted to configure uh, in a very different way from normal uh, the fans uh, in the configuration file. So on the Manta there are uh, plenty of fans uh, for uh, for the heaters, uh, fans for uh, to cool other things, and there are actually fan a fan uh, pin for um, for the CB1 or uh, or the Pi module. So in in this particular configuration, here on the bottom. There are fans here for the heater blocks. So it's called a fan, one, fan zero, one, two, and three. Uh, here, I'm going to, let me, here in yellow, okay? Going to be using the three of these guys. So for all these fans, uh, down here, there are three fans. There are PWM fans. Instead, this, these four are just, uh, uh, you know, fans that have uh, just positive and negative, while the four, five, and six you can uh, regulate with the PWM pin. But for uh, all these fans, you need to set the voltage uh, that this fan support. Uh, five here on the side there is a voltage fan, five twelve, and for for the for the uh, the input okay uh, so in my case and these are pins so you, you need to set jumpers so in my case I'm going to be using 5 volt so up here I'm going to set 5 volt uh, jumper and I'm going to be using uh, fan let me delete this guy I'm going to be using fan 1 2 and 3 Actually, I'm going to be using the connection, not fans, real fans. Why? Because I made a video uh, some time ago uh, talking about using lasers to heat the layer below the one that I'm printing. Since I'm uh, uh, custom build, my 3D printer is a custom build and it's pretty big. It's 1200 millimeter by 600 millimeter. So 1.2 meter by 0 0.6 meter. Um, and I'm going to be using this 3D printer to uh, 3D print the frame of the e-bike project that I'm, that I'm doing. So this custom 3D printer is used to do uh, a very specific task. So on this huge printer, there is a, a problem with layer addition. Uh, all 3D printer have this, but this problem, this issue, but when you have huge parts, uh, it's even uh, more problematic, or problematic to have uh, the layer uh, attached to the next layer. Uh, so my idea, as I explained in the video, is to use lasers to heat the layer just below the one that I'm printing. So while the nozzle and the extruder is moving, I will beam uh, from three laser just below where is the nozzle, uh, so that the the layer below will heat up uh, to a temperature close to the one that I'm melting. So I'm printing. So in my case, I'm using this three laser for the uh, extruder one, which is the second extruder, which is printing carbon fiber uh, pellets. And it melts at 250 degrees. So I need this three laser to melt, uh, not to melt, but to heat the, the, the carbon fiber already 3D printed and just below where I'm printing um, around maybe 200 degrees. 180 degrees 
something like that. I will need to experiment this at different temperature to see uh, which temperature is the best to do, to have the opt optimal uh, layer addition. So let me go back to the configuration file, the Clipper configuration file for the board. And here is the section that I'm building. So for the either fan, fan one, and fan two and fan three. So if you go to Clipper page for configuring the fan, there have a bunch of options and features and, uh, and it's pretty cool. So what I need to set here is just the pins. Uh, so PE0, PC12, and PE5 are for fan one, two, and three. So if I go back to the diagram uh, here, PE0, PC12, and PE5. So I will set it to five volt because the laser I'm using are pretty low power. So because I just need to heat up the, the layer below. Um, now, since these fans are not PWM, so I cannot regulate uh, the power via hardware, these fans have only, this, this laser have only two cables, uh, neg negative and positive. Uh, but in this section of the configuration, where is it, uh, here, you can set the fan speed. So my understanding is that by regulating the fan speed on a on a fan that has just positive and negative you regulate the power uh, or the voltage in this case that uh, maybe the current that you are uh, that you are uh, driving the fan to most likely it's the current because you set the pin in in the pin you set to five volts with the jumpers and most likely the speed is is uh, it regulates the current. So if I set the fan speed at 0 0.7, probably I'm going to drive the laser at 70% of the power. That's my assumption. I will do testing to see if it is correct. If someone uh, knows this, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, it will be great. So I can uh, confirm or change this assumption. So, why I have three lasers for fans? Uh, because I need, I don't know where the XY movement of the extruder I, I know, uh, I do at all times. Uh, well, the G code knows, but I don't want to uh, <coughs> write a script to figure out in which direction it's going. So, what normally you do is triangulate. So. With, with three laser, you triangulate and you cover, um, you know, 120 degrees, you cover whatever, if you go um, left, right, or back and forth, or forward. And so I can cover uh, the whole layer just below where the nozzle is printed. That's the idea. The three laser will be at 120 degrees from each other and will be uh, around the uh, extruder one. Extruder zero will uh, print uh, support. Extruder one will print uh, carbon fiber for the uh, frame. So this three laser will go around this uh, extruder. I posted a video about this idea, so you can check it out with more details. And that's it. This is the configuration that I'm going to be using. Uh, I will do some tests, uh, both for confirming this fan speed, which I'm assuming is a 70% here, how I said it. Maybe it's going to be 80%. And which temperature they, allow, they, are, uh, they can uh, reach, they can melt the plastic which I don't need to melt, but I just need to uh, heat up the carbon fiber just below where I'm printing to see if the, the one that I print over will, will increase the uh, layer addition. We'll see if it works. I'm experimenting with this. Uh, so um, thank you for 
watching the video please uh, share the video subscribe to the channel i will have more videos and hopefully soon i can just jump in and start to build this custom 3d printer um, put a like in the video and I'll, uh, if you have any comments uh, please leave it uh, it will be great to have some feedback if i correct on this or i need to change something uh, thank you very much and i'll see you on next video bye bye